Hello Academy Superstars, this is Professor Don Bush from the Academy Superstar channel. I've been a professor for about 30 years and a CPA for about that long and I've got great ways to explain accounting so you've come to the right place. Hey, I've got a picture of Regis University. This is where I work. I've been sharing these pictures for the last uh, several videos. I teach at Regis University and it's a great school. If you're checking out places to study accounting, this is a really good uh, place to go to school. We've got great teachers there. So anyways, thought I'd uh, share with you. Beautiful place with a lot of trees, flowers. It's wonderful. Denver, Colorado. Hey, well folks, today's lesson is about the gross profit percentage. We're talking about analyzing financial statements and this is really, really basic and it's super easy. It's probably the, one of the easiest uh, indicators, financial indicators there is. So, but it's a really important one. And, and from my experience, really good managers watch this. They, they really do. I remember a long time ago, I, I worked with a manager that um, was one of the best managers I had ever seen. He, he was great with people. He, he knew what he was doing and he was good with finances and he understood accounting. Uh, just just an, an amazing person. And uh, when I would um, give him the financial statements at the end of every month, one of the first things he would look at is the gross profit percentage. And in his business, it had to be 33% for him to uh, make a good profit. And if the uh, gross profit percentage ever dropped below 33%, he was on the phone finding out what, what's going on. So, but in his industry, it was very stable, a very stable 33% month after month after month after month, 33% um, gross profit margin. Now, every business is not going to have a 33% a gross profit margin. It, it depends on the business. As you're going to see, Walmart has one gross profit um, percentage. Uh, Coors uh, Beer has another and so on and so forth. You'll see this. Okay, so going on. This is the Sunset Sailboat Company and they build custom sailboats, really nice sailboats. And here's the formula for their gross profit margin. There we go. In fact, it's the formula for every gross profit margin, not just a uh, sense of sailboat company. And that's the one nice thing about accounting is that you learn this stuff for one company and, and it applies to usually every other company. So uh, pretty nice in that respect. So gross profit percentage equals the gross profit divided by sales. Now gross profit and sales are both found on the income statement. So let's go down to the income statement. Well, here we go. I've got the uh, financial statements all set. What this is, these are the financial statements for the Sunset Sailboat Company and for the, the last four years. So we're gonna see what their gross profit percentage has been doing. So all you do is find their gross profit. And usually gross profit is right up near the top of the financial statements. There we go, uh, 325, 750, and I got that right from this spot right here. So in fact, what I'll do is I'll highlight it across here so that way you can see where I'm getting the numbers. So I'm just going, I'm transferring these numbers up above here. So gross profit. Gross profit is uh, your profit after subtracting out your cost of goods sold. It's revenue minus cost of goods sold. So you, uh, what is cost of goods sold, you ask? Well, cost of goods sold, that represents the labor to build your product or, or your service, the materials that was used in your, your uh, product, and also the manufacturing overhead too. So there are three, th three, three, <laughs> there we go, three, <laughs> three things I can count here, I think. So three things that go into uh, gross profit, the direct labor, direct materials, and the manufacturing overhead. So let's transfer up all the numbers here. So here we go. 704,800, 1,520,000, and 1,850,000, 1,850,000. So it looks like the gross profit is really increasing. So sales, now sales is, is the same thing as revenue. Sales, revenue, same stuff. All right, so we get 849, drop it right up above there, 1580, 3100, 3,900, okay. And all we have to do is divide, that's all there is to it. Just gross profit divided by sales, it's that easy. So 325,750 divided by 849,750 and we get 38%, all right. So let's carry it across here. It's gonna be the same thing for every year, just divide. 
There we are. So it looks like for the Sunset Sailboat Company, their gross profit percentage is increasing by quite a bit. Now, if I was in management, I'd want to know, well, why is it increasing so much? What's going on here? Because usually gross profit percentages are very stable. But one thing I can see, though, is sales is just growing like crazy. You know, it's really, really growing. And um, and so it, management really ought to look into and find out, well, why, why is it increasing so much? You know, it is, uh, I'd be just a little curious about that if I was in management. I mean, it's a good thing. It's a really great thing that the gross profit percentage is increasing, but I would want to know why, why, and, and it, will it um, kind of level out at about 47% or 45% or whatever? One thing's for sure, it's not going to keep growing, at least for very much. So, there is a limit to it. Now let's look at Captain Jack's sailboats. Now Captain Jack is a competitor with uh, the Sunset Sailboat Company. And here's Captain Jack's. And it looks like Captain Jack's um, gross profit margin is around in the you know low 40s. And it's pretty consistent too. And that, this is what I would expect. What I'm seeing up here with the Sunset Sailboat Company, that's not very typical seeing the gross profit margin growing that fast. And and you, when you're analyzing financial statements, you never, ever, ever want to just say, oh, wow, that looks great. Sunset Sailboat Company's profit margin is really growing. Um, it, it's not that simple. You you want to say, okay, that this is great. It is great, but it's odd. So we're going to look into it. All right. So you want to always dig deeper whenever you can. So let's uh, see some other things about uh, these this gross profit margin. So, what does the gross profit margin indicate? Well, number one, it measures profitability after cost of goods sold, which is the direct labor, direct materials factor over it. So it's just simply sales minus cost of goods sold is gross profit. There you go. And it's a very, very, very critical number. Good managers carefully monitor the gross profit percentage. I already mentioned that. Number three, <clears throat> very small changes in gross profit can greatly affect the bottom line. It can greatly affect net income. So even a 1% decrease in gross profit can be huge. It can mean the difference between having a good year and a bad year. Number four, depending on the industry, gross profit percentages can be relatively stable over time. And usually they are, especially for established businesses. Number five, gross profit percentages might be large or small depending on the specific industry. And that brings us down to the last item here. Let's look at the gross profit margins for some uh, businesses. Now, these businesses are not comparable in the least, all right? You would never, ever, ever, ever want to compare Walmart with Southwest Airlines. In fact, if I had a student do that, say, I'm going to compare Walmart against Southwest Airlines, I, I'd probably give them an F or something because you, you want to uh, you, you want to compare companies that are extremely similar to one another. And that's harder than you think because every business uh, is unique, every single business. So uh, Walmart, their gross profit percentage is 25%. So uh, sales minus cost of goods sold, they have a gross profit margin of 25%. So to say it another way, for every $1 of sales, they have 25 cents of gross profit. Another way to look at it. Southwest Air Airlines. Now, this surprised me a little bit. I didn't think it would be this high. Apple Computer. Now, I thought Apple Computer would have had a higher gross profit percentage. I know they're doing great, and, and you can't compare them against Southwest Airlines. Can't do that. They're totally different. So, but I, I was just thinking it'd be higher than that. That was my expectation. And then uh, Molson Coors, their gross profit percentage is 37%. In other words, for every $1 of sales that uh, Coors uh, sells, they have 37 cents of gross profit. So that's a way to look at it. And this is a little higher than I thought too. I thought it would have been around the level, well, not as low as Walmart, but, but a little bit lower than that. So anyways, a few little surprises. So if this video helped you out, let me know. Hit that like button, hit the subscribe button. And check out accountingsuperstars.com. I've got all these videos listed by topic, so it's easier to, for you to find them. So until next time, over and out.